Okay, it is my Monday, everyone else's Tuesday. I have been home all weekend with the flu and wasted a whole decent weekend of partying and all kinds of frivolity so I could get myself healthier and I'm still coughing up lungs and feel like crap. All right, now that I've whined, I'm done. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go find a cup of coffee and life will be better within about an hour. Okay, our uh, first exotic of the day is this cute little rabbit here. Um, Dad says he can be a little bit of a butt, so I've not really tortured him in the grandest sense of the term so far. Um, but I have been watching him and giving him one of those physical exams via the visual type. Uh, our eyes are clear, our nose is clear, our lungs are fine, his respiratory rate is perfect. Um, I can even watch his heart beating from here, and I can actually see that right in that area there. Um, and all that seems normal, but I'm going to palpate his belly in just a minute. Anyway, Dad brought him in because this guy's having chronic problems with GI stasis or signs similar to GI stasis. I'm taking him to, there was the Illinois Vet School? Yes. Okay. Uh, so the Illinois Vet School there, they've given this guy some sub-Q fluids, treated him for stasis as well. Um, he's been treated at a local emergency hospital. Dad's even done the Dr. Google thing. Um, and we have found out that GI uh, treatment, uh, simethicone actually, or gas -X, has made a difference in this guy's life. Unfortunately, he still has issues. So today we've actually gotten a fecal. Look at the poop itself, and it's revealed to us that we actually have a problem with uh, with Macrorhabdus, or our local species anyway, of that large bipolar yeast that is known to cause gas and toxins and all kinds of issues in the rabbit intestine. Um, I've even sat here and bullshitted with that as to my theories as to why the wild rabbits don't have a similar thing, but I'm gonna save that for the next biologist that calls and goes, what is that bullshit theory you were talking about? Um, anyway, so our buddy here is, uh, due to the way they manufacture rabbit food and the fact that they're coprophagic, whatever is in his intestine, whatever problem he may have had before, when he goes back and he eats those special pellets in the middle of the night, when he wakes up and goes, mm, I just feel the need to eat some poop, then uh, he actually doubles or just basically increases the amount of those organisms that are in a stool. After so many days, months, weeks, and years of doing this, it gets to the point where this organism is so bad that I have taken pictures of the fecal I can add to this video. Um, that uh, anyway, it gets to, gets really, really sad. Um, and it causes so much gas and irritation and this guy has cramps in the whole routine and will never have a happy day in his life. So today we're gonna start him off with some treatment. We're going for the safe antifungals first. And if that doesn't seem to improve it within about five days, just let me know and we'll switch him to something harder. Give him the bigger drugs, the more expensive stuff. But we're trying to be cheap today because I'm just in the mood to be cheap. <laughs> Dad's going to learn. They call me the crazy vet for a reason. All right. Um, I guess that's it for now. I will uh, get him up in just a second and palpate his abdomen. And, uh, and I know he's not going to like me for that, but it needs to be done. All right. Later. That's, that's as good as it gets for your rabbit right there. After this, it's going to turn into a little bit of torture. All right.